Could be King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing how to root your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. Uh, this video will show you how to install your custom recovery as well as get root access on your device. So just jump into it first. Obviously, you're going to need your tablet. You're going to need a PC as well as your cable to connect your tablet to your PC. Once you have those, you're ready to go. First, what you're going to need to do is actually go ahead and plug in your tablet into your PC. So plug it on in, first thing. Make sure USB debugging is not enabled and because we're going to need to mount it. So MTP needs to be initialized. Go ahead and then go ahead and go to your desktop, actually. So I'm going to recommend going to your desktop. Whoops, sorry. Whoops. Go to your desktop and then right click and hit new and then go to folder. So create a new folder and we're gonna name it uh, tab root. So just tab root. So once you have that folder name, just go ahead and put it anywhere on your desktop. It'll make everything easier so we can have everything all in one place. So once you're, you've got that, uh, that folder made, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It's gonna take you to the AC Syndicate website. And right there, big thanks, shout out to Sock Monkey. Big thanks to him. And now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, gives you some written instructions, some pictures, and we're gonna need to get to the download. So keep scrolling down. You got a bunch of downloads over here. You're gonna need to download three files. So the first one is tabrecoveries.zip. So click and download the tab recovery zip. You're also gonna need to download the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root zip, as well as the Odin zip. So those three files, Odin, root zip as well as the recovery zip. I do highly recommend familiarizing yourself with how to unroot first. Um, if you watch that video, just have this zip file on your tablet just in case anything goes wrong. That's something I do recommend. But anyways, the three files you need, go to your downloads folder. Let's go ahead and check them out. You have the Odin zip, the root zip that is right there as well as tab recovery. So all three of those files are right up there. And now what we're gonna need to do is go to that root zip and just right click on it. So the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root zip, right click on it and then just hit copy. So hit copy. And once you hit copy, go ahead and go over to your tablet that we plugged in, select it, double click on the tablet. And then we're gonna just need to right click anywhere and hit paste. So go ahead and paste that file right there. I already have it on my tab. As you can see, it's right there. Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root zip. And once that's there, you're ready to go. Go ahead and unplug your tablet from your PC. So unplug it. And now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and go back to your PC, back to your downloads folder. So you navigate back to those zip files, that Odin zip, as well as the recovery zip. We're gonna need a zip program such as 7-Zip or WinRAR. I use 7-Zip, so here's what we're gonna need to do. First, we're gonna need to double click on the Odin zip. It'll open up and look inside. You have the Odin file itself as well as the configuration file. You're gonna need to extract both of those. So extract both of those into your tab root folder. And once that's done, hit back, and then go to your tab recovery zip. Double click on that, and we're gonna need to click and drag the recovery.tar right there and then click and drag that to your tab root folder as well. So those are the only two files, only three files technically that you need. Then double click on your tab root, and there you have it. You got your Odin as well as your recovery. So now you're ready to go, go back to your tablet, and we're gonna need to power it on off. So power off your tablet. I'm gonna go ahead and let that shut down. All right, now that it's powered off, we're gonna need to go into download mode. To do so, what we need to do is press and hold the power button and the volume down button. The left one is the volume down, the right one's the volume up. So press and hold the power button as well as the left volume down button at the same time. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen pops up and then let go of the power button but keep the volume down button held down. So let go of the power button and keep that volume down button held down and it will take us to this screen. So to navigate through this screen, 
You use the left volume down uh, button to navigate between the two. You can go back and forth. And then you use the volume up button to select it. So the one we're gonna need to select, the, first, the one on the left is to go into our recovery. The one on the right is to go into download mode. So press the volume up button to select download mode. It takes you to this screen. Press volume up again to continue. And here we go. So now we are in download mode from with uh, with Odin. If for any reason you're in download mode and you don't want to and you uh, can't get out of it, obviously you can't pull your battery. But to get out of it, press and hold the volume up, uh, the volume down and power button for ten, for 10 to 15 seconds, and it should reboot your device. So don't worry. There's a way out of Odin mode if you for any reason can't get out of it. So now what we're going to need to do now that we're in download mode is go back to your PC and go ahead and right click on Odin exe and hit run as administrator if you don't get that option just double click on it. it should be fine hit yes and then it opens up odin for us so this is what odin's going to look like right here and to use odin we're going to need to go to these buttons on the right as you can see select the pda button right there and then it should open your either well it should open a folder go to your desktop uh, right here, so click on desktop and then find that tab root folder, double click on that. Inside that you should see your recovery tar, so double click on that. So in the PDA box you should see your recovery tar and you should have it checked. You're almost done. Now on the left side here you should see a bunch of check boxes, uncheck force reset time and only have auto reboot checked. So double check, make sure you have only auto reboot checked as well as the PDA box checked with the recovery tar right there. And now we're ready to go so you can go back to your tablet and plug it into your PC. So go ahead and plug in your tab into your PC. And then what it should do is in Odin, it should pop up a yellow screen right here that uh, basically says COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, but it should show up COM number and have a yellow background. And that's it, we're ready to go. Uh, Odin recognizes your device, go ahead and hit start. Um, if Odin's not recognizing your device, try a different USB port, etc. As you can see, a green progress bar goes. It says it shows pass, and it took six seconds right there. It'll automatically reboot your tablet. So as you can see, my tablet just went ahead and rebooted. Uh, once it boots up, you're not rooted yet. We still need to go through some, some other steps, so I will go over that soon. So I'm going to let this reboot, and I'll be back once it's done rebooting. All right, so my tablet went ahead and turned back on. So we're not done with the root process yet. Now what we're going to need to do is just power it right back on down. So power off your tablet once more. And then what we're going to need to do is to go into our stock. I mean, not our stock, our custom recovery, which is called Clockwork Mod, which is what we just flashed through Odin to the device. So now my uh, tablet has powered down. What we're going to need to do is go into that same screen again, pressing the volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those again. Let go of the power button once the Samsung screen pops up. So let go of the power button right there. Keep the volume down button held, and it should take us to this screen again. But this time we're not going to go into download mode. Press the volume down button to go over to our custom recovery option or stock recovery option and press the volume up button to select it. So what that's going to do is go ahead and reboot our Galaxy Tab into Clockwork Mod. So now we should be on the latest version of Clockwork Mod, Clockwork Mod version 5.0.2.7, as you can see right there. And now what we're going to need to do is basically what Clockwork Mod allows us to do is uh, flash custom ROMs, kernels, themes, etc., as well as root our device. So to navigate through Clockwork Mod, very similar, we're going to use the volume up and down buttons to navigate through the menu. So up, down, uh, so volume up goes down, volume down goes up. I know it's kind of confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. So use the volume buttons to navigate through and then the power button to select. So now all you're going to have to do is actually first, what I'm going to recommend doing is go to backup and restore and select it with the power button and then do Android backup. So make a backup. Uh, that is definitely something I recommend doing. I'm going to go ahead and do it now, actually. So I'm going to press the power button and do an Android backup. It is going to take a while. Basically, what that's going to do is completely back your, up your current setup, your stock setup, so your unrooted setup. So basically, if you want to go back to stock, you can either restore this, or I do have a video showing you how to unroot, so I'll link to that in the description. So you can restore this and then flash your stock recovery. But anyways, this is something I recommend doing, making an Android backup, and I'll be back once it's done. 
All right, as you can see, backup, com at backup complete, that did take a little while. So now that that backup is done, what we're gonna need to do is get gain root access now. So go ahead and go down to install zip from SD card. Let's zoom in on this. Install zip from SD card, select it, and then go ahead and go to choose zip, the top option, select that. And then basically go ahead and find that Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root zip, select it, and then go ahead and hit yes, install Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 root zip. Press the power button to select it, and then it should install our root access, should install super user, install from SD card complete. Um, looks like the back button's gone, so what we're gonna need to do is press, go up, down, up, down, and I believe it should enable back. Um, how do you do this? So how do you go back? Okay, so I figured it out. Have it say back menu button enabled. As I said, do that by going up, down, up, down, and then it'll say back menu button disabled. Go back up, down, up, down until it says enabled again. Then you should just select choose zip from SD card, and then go ahead and just hit go back, and then go back option should pop right back up. That's only if you don't see go back. So hit go back again, and just hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your tablet again, and once it boots back up, you will have your custom recovery as well as root access. So your uh, Galaxy Tab will be completely rooted, your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. So I'm going to go ahead and let it boot up and show you that I'm rooted. All right, as you can see, my tablet has booted right back on up. Now all I'm going to do is go to my app drawer, and you should see super user in your app drawer. So there it is. As you can see, upper left-hand corner, super user right there. So I am now rooted. I could go to a root application and give it super user permissions. So that's it. That would be how you root your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. If you run into any problems, have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.